On this day at the Fort Montgomery battle site in Fort Montgomery, New York, Native skills expert Barry Keegan shows his Lenape skills such as hand drill fire making and flint napping. Much evidence is presented that Native Americans occupied the Ramapo River Valley from the Paleo-Indian period, 10,500 years BC, into the Archaic and Woodland Cultural periods, and continuing into the Historic Contact period when Europeans arrived in the regions. The Indian people are still here. Ramapo Lenape Indians live in Hilburn, New York, West Mawa, New Jersey, and Upper Ringwood. Just from what little experience I have of being allowed to go after, this is something that's hard to practice today legally. I'll throw this at you. <laughs> All of this stuff is legal in a survival situation, but there's no thing at the bottom. You can. If you, if you take your New York State Fishing and Hunting license book that explains the whole process and where you can do what and at what time of day and what time of year. According to the New York State DEC Hunter Regulation Book, it is illegal to take or hunt wildlife with a spear or spear gun. Archaeological research, including field reconnaissance and excavations in the Ramapo River watershed, have led to discovery of 11 lithic sites variously described as lithic scatters, workshops, and raw material quarries. Most of these sites were found during cultural resource investigations required by law in advance of proposed construction projects. Thousands of years prior to the coming of European settlers to the Ramapo River Valley, hunting, fishing, and foraging were the principal subsistence activities of Indian people. During this period, the Indians were dependent on their natural environment for food and raw materials to provide shelter and clothing. It's so bad then because the Mohawks would feel that they were getting encroached upon on their expanded territory. I mean, they, the Mohawks don't live here. All pieces of wood. The hand drill method was effective and efficient. Only two materials were needed. It required less time and energy to find your wood and process your fire. The hand drill fire making technique works with friction, the rubbing together of two different or the same materials. It's just straight up rawhide bowstring. It's just the easiest thing to make. You get a section of dried deer skin or moose hide about that big. You cut it in a circle, stretch it out. The bow is made to the person who uses it, and you measure from your armpit to right and this little knuckle here, and that's how long your arrow should be. Less than so. But this is a copy of one, the oldest known artifact bow from the Northeast. Bow and arrow replaced the spear, and the use of clay pottery became widespread. Horticulture or garden farming became an important supplement to the traditional hunting and fishing and gathering economy.